In this video, you will see how to wire an IFM-03R platform. This diagram explains the system architecture and products used in today's video. After watching this video, you will have learned how to successfully connect our camera heads to your O3R VPU. So let's get started. Here is what you need. You need an O3R VPU. This one is OVP800. You need one or two camera heads. Here I'm using an O3R222 and an O3R225. You also need an Ethernet cable, one or two FACRA cables, and a power supply. The first step is to connect the O3R camera to the VPU. So let's take a closer look at these FACRA cables. One end of the cable has a single connector, and the other end has two connectors. You'll see that on the end with the two connectors, there will be a little label. So this one says 3D data, and the other one says 2D image. Now you'll take the end with the single connector and connect it to your camera head. And then you'll take the two connectors and you'll connect them to the VPU. And this is where you need to be careful. You need to make sure that the two connectors are not connected next to each other. So what I'm going to do here is connect my 2D onto port 0 and connect the 3D onto port 2. This is very important to remember. You cannot have the 2D and 3D connected next to each other. Now, if you have a second camera, we can connect that camera as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. The single connector on the camera head, and then for the two connectors on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect the 2D image next to the first 2D, so in port 1, and then the 3D image in port 3. So now I have my two cameras connected. If I had a third camera, then I could connect either to 2D or the 3D only, to port 4 or 5. The ports are paired so port 0 and 1 need to have the same image type connected. It's the same for ports 2 and 3 and ports 4 and 5. And now that I have my two cameras connected, I'm going to take my Ethernet cable one, and it goes into the Ethernet 0 port. Make sure you use the port Ethernet 0 and not Ethernet 1. The other end is going to go into my computer. And finally, when we have everything connected, we can connect the power supply. For the power supply, you need to make sure that you are using pins 2 and 3 for 24 volt and ground. If you've used an O3D camera before, just pay attention because this connection is different from that. I have connected to power, so the OVP is going to go through the initialization sequence and you're going to see the LEDs indicate the state. It starts with only the power LED on and then you'll have the state LED that turns on as well. And next, you will see this blinking sequence on the port LEDs. This means we're going through the boot up process. And you can see that my Ethernet LEDs are also on. Once the boot-up sequence is completed, you will see that you have solid lights wherever you have connected a cable. And this is how you know that the initialization sequence is complete. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.